Welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. It's great to have you back. And this week, we're going to take a look at the upcoming games from the Bundesliga's match day 26, which will be taking place on Saturday, May 16th, and Sunday, May 17th. Now, the big news here is that the Bundesliga is back after the coronavirus hiatus that it went on in March and April. It is the first of the major leagues in Europe to return, and everybody is rejoicing that there will be football back on television, as, of course, fans will be banned from attending live games as the games all in Germany this week will be played behind closed doors. It's not just the Bundesliga that will be playing, but the Bundesliga 2, the second division of German football, will also be competing and of course, you can go over to Z Code System and the VIP Club to get all of the picks that we have there leading up to this weekend. And on our video today here on YouTube, we're going to take a look at three games from the Bundesliga and some games that you're going to want to keep your eyes on if you are planning to bet this weekend on the games going on in Germany. Guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to us here on YouTube. Please, if you enjoy this video, like it, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with Z-Code System on everything that we post here, as well as go over to the website and check out all of the blogs where we will be profiling more of the football matches that are coming up over this weekend, uh, next weekend as well, and continuing on. And as sports come back, other sports come back, which we've been talking about on our news segments every week here on Z-Code System. You can check those out on YouTube as well. You can find out about all the sports that are coming back and hopefully the other sports that are having plans or making plans to come back as well. Uh, we've seen a lot of news going on from around the globe, whether it be Australia, South Korea, Japan, the United States. Sports is slowly making its way back. Uh, last week, we covered the Korean K-League and we profiled some matches there. So, uh, that is one of the soccer leagues that has come back as well as the Korean baseball organization. So whatever it is that you like to wager on and bet on, stay tuned to Z-Code System to find out more information about it. And you can always go over to Z-Code System and get great picks and tips. And as you see there here, as I've got my VIP club open, you can see that we also have picks for cyber soccer, tennis, esports, table tennis. So the various things that are going on right now, especially esports, and you can also go to Z Code System and get the eSports betting Bible that we give away for free in PDF form. So you can get that ebook and read up on that. So, guys, let's break it down right now. Let's look at the Bundesliga for match day 26, which will be coming up this weekend. Now, keep in mind that there are only nine match days left in the Bundesliga that are now being played. There is a four-team race for the Bundesliga title with six points separating fourth place Borussia Mönchengladbach and the top team Bayern Munich. And in between there is Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig. So there's a lot to play for this weekend at both ends of the table, but especially at the very top. And you're going to want to check those games out. And we're going to we're going to profile two of those matches that are taking place at the very top of the table. So as I've got my VIP open... I'm just going to scroll down here, and we are on the 16th, and we're going to select our first matchup this weekend. And I want to take a look first at what will be the biggest game of the weekend, and that's the River Derby between Schalke and Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund are the home team going into this game. This game will be played at Signal Iduna Park in Dortmund, and both teams go in... Um, really needing a victory. Dortmund have to win to keep pace with Bayern Munich. Uh, they are two points back. Sorry, they are four points back of uh, Bayern Munich as we go into the weekend. Schalke, they are holding on to sixth place, uh, but they are in um, jeopardy of losing that spot this weekend with a loss. Now, Schalke fans will know that they have done very well against Borussia Dortmund over the last few years. Uh, earlier this season, Schalke were able to take a point off uh, Borussia Dortmund as they claimed a nil-nil draw. 
So Schalke do have the potential to upset Dortmund or at least take a point off them this weekend. Um, when these two teams meet, form completely goes out the table, and it doesn't matter if Dortmund is the favorite. It, uh, Schalke have the propensity to take points off them. And as you can see there from our head-to-head -head that I brought up, Schalke picking up that nil-nil draw earlier this season. And last year, they went to Borussia Dortmund and they won 4-2. So you cannot uh, count out Schalke from getting a win here. Now, as we look at this, we can see that uh, over the last few games, I believe that's six games there, we have seen four in with both teams scoring. So this game could be a game with uh, both sides finding the back of the net. Keep in mind, the teams in the Bundesliga have had a few weeks off. So it could be very scrappy when they come back this weekend. We could see either defenses struggle or attacks struggle. So we're not really sure how this is going to end up with uh, the teams coming back, especially two teams playing in a derby. Um, and it's going to be very cagey and scrappy, as I said before. So this game is going to be um, huge for setting the pace for the weekend. Now, I am going with a Borussia Dortmund win in this game. I know Schalke have been very good against uh, Dortmund this season or in last season and the years before. Uh, but I think Dortmund are going to edge this game and pick up the win because they are so close to uh, within touching distance of Bayern Munich. And if they do lose this weekend, uh, Bruce Dortmund, that is, I don't think they're going to be able to then catch Bayern Munich. Munich are playing Union Berlin, who are a mid-table side, uh, nothing special. Uh, and I think Bayern will completely roll over Union Berlin on Sunday. So a lot of pressure here on Dortmund. If they can win, though, they will put plenty of pressure on Bayern to also win on Sunday. So I'm going Borussia Dortmund on this game, uh, in this game, and to finally get a win over Schalke for the first time in three attempts. So that's my pick for that game. Now let's take a look at uh, the next game that I have profiled. And you can also go over to the blog and read up on all of this uh, over there and get some other stats that we put into the blogs. But I'm going to take a look here at Borussia Mönchengladbach and Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, this is going to be the late game on Saturday. Uh, Frankfurt are in terrible form right now. They are ice cold, as you can see right there. They are just six points off of the relegation zone in the Bundesliga, and they desperately need to win to move away from there because I think that if they do lose, then they are definitely going to be mired in a relegation battle for the final eight match days of the season in the Bundesliga. Now, Borussia Mönchengladbach are playing very good. And as I wrote in the blog uh, this week, Gladbach were uh, the pace setters at the start of the season, along with RB Leipzig. Unfortunately, after Christmas or around Christmas, they started to fall off the pace. They sit in fourth right now, six points back of Bayern Munich. Are they done? No. A loss to Eintracht Frankfurt would end most likely their playoff, or excuse me, not playoffs, their title hopes. So Borussia Mönchengladbach really need to pick up a win here to keep pace with the other four teams, sorry, with the other three teams that are ahead of them right now. So I'm thinking Gladbach are going to get this win. Uh, they are going on the road, though, playing an Eintracht Frankfurt team that is far better playing at home than they are away from home. So it's going to be another scrappy game, very difficult game uh, for Gladbach to pick up a win here. And if you're a little bit worried about making a bet on Gladbach to win, I think you should definitely go for an over 2.5 goals in this game. These two teams in the last two meetings that they've had, and I'll bring those up right here. And as you can, sorry, in the two of the last three games, uh, as you can see here, uh, they have had over 2.5 goals. Now, you may want to go with a, both teams to score bet here as well, or uh, in uh, in contrast to the 2.5 goals. So as you can see, the last three games, both teams have scored. Now, both of these sides definitely have firepower. They've got excellent goal scoring and excellent goalkeeping, but the defenses are going to be a bit suspect in my opinion. And uh, I think we should see some goals in this game. And I think Gladbach will end up picking up the win but Frankfurt will push them all the way. Again, Frankfurt far better at home this season than they are on the road. So I'm going Gladbach on this game. 
are in this game. And as you can see here, just real quickly, Frankfurt, uh, as the home team, they are unbeaten in their last three matches against Borussia Mönchengladbach at the Commerce Bank Arena in Frankfurt. So a little food for thought there, but maybe over 2.5 goals or both teams to score. So let's move on to our third game this weekend that I have profiled, and that is a game between Hertha Berlin and Hoffenheim. Now, you may ask, well, why are we profiling this game? Because uh, I think that this is going to be a, a quite an exciting game uh, between these two teams, and I'm thinking that we might see an upset. Now, Hoffenheim have absolutely dominated the series between themselves and Hertha Berlin uh, over the last eight games. Um, Hoffenheim unbeaten in their last eight matches against Hertha Berlin. Uh, but I think that's going to change this weekend. And we can just bring up the head to head so you can see just how dominant Hoffenheim have been uh, picking up wins and draws. They picked up a win earlier this season, 3 2, um, away to Hertha at the Olympia Stadion there in Berlin. But as I said, I think we're going to see a change this week. Hoffenheim will be without their leading goal scorer, Andre Kramerich. He is injured. Ankle injury will keep him sidelined. There are some other injury worries in the Hoffenheim attack, which is putting me uh, or, or making me consider Hertha for the upset. Hertha do have an excellent goal scoring striker uh, by the name of Christoph Piatek. They signed him in January from, Hertha Ber uh, from AC Milan, that is. He's only scored one goal in six games. He's had a little bit of trouble adapting and, and getting uh, into gear. But Hertha do have a new coach in Bruno Labbadia. He joined just before we went on hiatus uh, in March. And I think he's had a, plenty of time to get this team ready to push on and move away from the relegation zone. And again, only six points separate Hertha Berlin from the relegation zone right now. But I think this team is very much good enough to move away from that bottom three and to finish off the season in mid-table. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Piatek picking up a goal this weekend. Now, if you are, again, worried about putting your money behind a team to win in this game, I don't blame you. We're coming back from the hiatus, from uh, the COVID-19 hiatus, and it's very reasonable to be a little bit worried about investing in one team over another just because we're not really sure how things are going to pan out after the hiatus. So what you might think to do here is to go both teams to score or over 2.5 goals because you can see there we have uh, six games here and in those last uh, six games, five of those ended with both teams scoring and three of those ended with over 2.5 goals. So that might be a great place to put your money in the goals scored department. So guys, good luck with that and whatever your choice may be. But I am also going to go with an upset of Hertha Berlin beating Hoffenheim this weekend. We'll see how that turns out next week. So guys, those are our picks this week for the Bundesliga. And we are so thankful for you to tune in this week to our show on YouTube and uh, to go over to the blog and read up on all things sports and sports betting going on. Don't forget, you can get that eSports betting Bible over at zcosystem.com. You can get that for free. And as well as you can check out our blog on the Bundesliga and other sports that are going on uh, this weekend and upcoming. You can also check back at all the videos here on YouTube to get some of the latest news and get some other information on things such as eSports and horse racing we've posted over the last few weeks. Guys, if you like this video, again, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep delivering you the best content we can provide. Thank you guys for watching and good luck this weekend with your Bundesliga football betting. We'll see you next week with another video on betting on the Bundesliga. We'll see you soon guys. See you later.